I'm Courtney here from A Little Craft New Day and I'm so, so excited for today's video because I've partnered with Coats and Clark to show you how to make your own DIY packing cube. These things are great for making your clothes take up less space in your suitcase, which means you can pack even more. You're going to love this tutorial, so stay tuned. You will need a 30 inch Coats and Clark separating sport zipper, Coats and Clark dual duty thread that matches the color of your fabric, some mesh fabric, some waterproof nylon fabric, a rotary cutter, a marker, some sewing clips, a roll of tape, a ruler, and a sewing machine. All right, so we're gonna start out by cutting our fabric. For the base, we're gonna cut a 10 inch by 10 inch square. And then for the sides, we're gonna cut a three inch by 40 inch rectangle. All right, so we still need to cut two more pieces. The next one is going to be one and a half inches by seven inches. And then we'll cut a little one to two inches by four inches. So I went ahead and cut my mesh fabric to a 10 inch by 10 inch square. And now I'm going to take both 10 by 10 inch squares and round off the corners using the roll of tape. So all you wanna do is take your roll of tape and place it at the corner, just like so. Make sure that it is on the fabric all the way. And then take your marker or pen and just trace around that rounded edge of the corner. And now I have a line that I can cut. So just come in with your scissors and cut along that rounded edge, just like so. This is a great tip for rounding corners of your sewing projects. And now just fold it so that another corner is lined up with that corner. Fold it flip it over and use that line to draw a rounded edge on the other corner. And I'm going to do this to all eight corners. The next thing that we need to do is make a zipper tab for the top end of our zipper. I'm going to use the two inch by four inch rectangle of nylon fabric and create that zipper tab. Now on the other side of your zipper where the zipper stop is, we're going to attach our one and a half inch by seven inch rectangle right on top of here lined up with that raw edge at the bottom. And we are just going to sew one line here to attach them right this way. Once that is sewn, you're going to just flip it over here and all of those stitches are on the inside so we won't see them. And then we're going to attach this, which is now 40 inches long, to our 40 inch by three inch piece of fabric. We're going to put them right sides together. So just flip it just like this and then clip it along that edge. Now sew down that line that you just clipped together I have upped my stitch length because this fabric is pretty thin and I don't want to punch too many holes in it with my needle. And I've also unzipped my zipper just a little bit to get it out of the way at the start and then I'll pull it back up so that we can sew in a very straight line. Already, and then just flip your zipper up and take your two short ends and put those right sides together. Then clip them together 
And when we sew it, it's going to create a loop for all of the sides. Now I'm taking my 10 inch by 10 inch square of fabric and I'm going to bring this loop in and then I'm going to line up the zipper tab at one of the corners, line up all of the rest of the sides and clip them together so that their right sides are together. Now we're going to unzip it and on the other side of this loop, this outer edge, we're going to clip the mesh fabric to it. We're going to start at one corner and be sure that you're clipping right sides together. It's really not important for the mesh fabric but it is important for your outer side piece. Now let's head to the sewing machine and sew all the way around this. Because your zipper is open, we'll be able to flip it right side out at the end. Now all we have left to do is fold it right side out. So what did you guys think of making our own DIY packing cubes? I love folding my clothes up like little tacos in the outfit and placing them in this cube and the mesh front allows me to see all of the things that are in my different cubes. So sometimes I will do one outfit in each cube or sometimes I'll put all of my shirts in one and all of my pants in another. It really depends on the length of your trip and what all you're packing, but either way, they are great for using in your suitcases. I had so much fun making this with you guys and I hope you guys really enjoyed the tutorial as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for even more craft tutorials. As always, check us out on the blog for more awesome inspiration. Thanks guys for watching, bye!